So you're thinking about adding a freshwater crawfish to your aquarium? Well, hold on just a minute. Before you take the plunge, here are five essential things I wish I knew before owning a freshwater crawfish. Number one, tank size. Make sure you have at least a 10 gallon tank. I highly recommend a 20 gallon tank and taller the better because these guys do like to climb. But make sure you have a lid because they are escape artists and you may find this little guy wandering around your house. Number two, tank mates. You wanna make sure that you have very fast tank mates. He will try to sneak up and get them. As long as they're fast, you should be fine. It is always a risk though because he is a predator and he will try to eat your fish. So some examples of fish that are really good to have with a crawfish are most tetras, hatchet fish, dinos, tiger barbs, glass catfish, and I even have Corydoras in my tank. They are bottom feeders, but they're very fast. He does try to sneak up and get them, but he's had no luck. Most of the time you wanna have these guys by themselves, but it can work in a community tank, but it is a risk, so keep that in mind. Number three, plants. Now it is very likely that your crawfish will eat and destroy majority of your plants. He has done it to mine, and I should have done more research before I got him because I, I figured he would eat some, but I didn't think it would be at the scale that it has been. So I'm currently in the process of making him a new tank. If you don't want to risk your plants being destroyed, uprooted, and eaten, then maybe a crawfish is not for you. Number four, diet. Now these guys do eat a lot, and with that comes a lot of waste. So make sure you have the proper filtration. With that being said, I try to keep this guy full. So I try to feed him an assortment of different foods so he doesn't eat my fish and my plants. But here's a few things that I feed him that I know he really likes. Blood worms is one of his favorites. I also take a shrimp from a supermarket. You can boil it just like a raw shrimp. Cut it up and throw that in there and let him snack on that for a little bit. But he also does like zucchini, different sinking pellets, algae wafers, some spinach, and frozen peas. He'll eat all kinds of stuff, so it's not hard to find what he'll eat. And if you happen to have a dead fish from a different tank or the same tank, he will eat that. Number five, aggression. Now, I did touch on this briefly, but crawfish can be very territorial and aggressive, especially towards their own kind. So keep them in a tank with plenty of hiding spots and territories to claim to reduce the conflict. Now I just bought a cheap Pleco cave and he seems to love that. He'll back into that and kind of hang around there during the day. So give them plenty of hiding spots. And if you have multiple crawfish, make sure you have an extra 10 gallons per crawfish with plenty of hiding spots. And that is five things I think you should know before getting a freshwater crawfish. Now these aren't the only five things you need to know. I will put in the description things such as the water parameters, the hardness, the pH, the temperature, stuff like that. These things are really tough. I've seen them live at a puddle by my school when I was younger, so um, they don't need much, but you should definitely take good care of them. They're really cool to watch and I really like mine, but he is a little menace, so keep that in mind. If this helped you at all, please consider subscribing and liking this video. We're a new channel here and we're really trying to grow and we would greatly appreciate it. This is Dayton from Critical Mass Aquatics. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.